Hi everybody, this is the Green Fog here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we are going to be doing episode 16 of my survival series season 3. And in today's episode, we're going to be doing something interesting. We're actually going to be exploring in the opposite direction on horseback. Actually, on horseback of my new horse. So if you watched the last episode, you would have saw that I got this new uh, horse that I bought home from the plains after I built this nice horse testing area here. And um, it's right here. Its name is Super Stallion. He has a speed of 9 out of 15 and a jump height of two and a half blocks. So definitely not the best jump, but decent speed. And he is our main horse. We don't have any exceptional horses at the moment. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is I need to first clear my inventory of all my unnecessary stuff that I don't need um, to save room, save space. Um, so I have extra space to bring stuff home. Um, so, right, so I don't need that or that or that. I guess it wouldn't hurt to bring the iron. don't need that. Um, if I just bring the um, logs, I don't need the planks. I don't know why I have that, that, or that. Um, I'll just bring the fortune. I shouldn't need the silk touch. Actually, I'll bring them both just in case. Um, and I'll bring that. And do I need that? I don't think I need that. I'll get rid of that. Um, and I should bring all that stuff. So there we go. So now all I have is my main hotbar stuff plus four extra slots. Um, additional stuff I would like to bring, um, I don't need a compass because I have coordinates, but I do want to bring a bed, and that's probably it, to be honest, um, I think that's it, so I think we're ready, so, um, it's going to be a lot easier to do than the other, um, exploring trip we did, because the other one, we were going, um, we were going on foot, and this one we get to use a horse, which is going to save us an absolute ton of time. So we're going to grab Super Stallion, we're going to bring him outside, and we're going to see what we can do. So last time we went off in the direction of the Spruce Forest, and we actually, um, our coordinates I checked, that of the new places, were going farther into the negatives in both X and Z, so in that direction. So this time we're going to go in the complete opposite direction. We're going to go this way, which is bringing us into the positives. So I'm going to actually, what I'm going to do is, um, I haven't gone anywhere in the positives at all yet. So my plan because the only place I've gone in the positives is just like my original spawn. I haven't gone exploring in the positives at all. So my plan is to actually go this way first, and then I'll go across, and then I'll come back the other direction. Um, so, right, so how are we going to get this guy down here? That's probably not a good idea to go that way. Um, hopefully there's a better route somewhere around here. Um, seems we can probably, this isn't too big of a drop off, that should be fine. Yep, uh, that's fine. We'll ride this guy off this way, um, because, right, we haven't gone anywhere in the positive, so if we, in the X, or Z. So if we go in positive and X, um, or, well, positive and Z, and we go negative X, that's not a problem. So we're just going to go this way. It seems that we're getting into Oak Forest, which is nice. We're getting into some warm biomes. Um, so we'll keep going. Let's see, that's negative. That's not going to help. Is that a desert? Okay, let's bring this guy down. Is that a desert? No, it's just a tiny little beach. I was hoping that would be a desert. Or maybe that is off in the distance. I'm going to check that out right now. Um, let's see. Let's see what we have here. I have a feeling it's just a little beach, but it could be a desert. Um, is that a desert? No, that's there's trees. So, nope, nothing special, whatever. Um, right, but we're going into the positives at the moment. And we're going to go into the negatives in this direction. So we can go across and come home in the other direction. Um, right, so we're going to keep going this way. See if we can find anything. Like I said, this is going to be a absolute ton easier than doing it before. Because we're on horseback instead of being on foot. Which saves an insane amount of time. This is going to pop up here. Um, come up this way. See if we can hop up. There we go. We are past that obstacle. Now let's continue in this direction. Um, nothing so far. More planes, including more horses. I'll certainly note the coordinates of that. And I just realized something that I should have realized before. Um, yeah. My purpose, hopefully, no, hopefully that doesn't come up on the recording. Um, anyway, hope my purpose was to, um, 
my purpose of this was so I could find new places, and if I find new places and they're thousands of blocks away, it's not very helpful if they're really useful unless I have a portal. So, I actually need to head back home real quick and um, grab some obsidian and flint steel so I can um, make some portal or make some portals whenever I find um, good spots like this where there's, because here there's a bunch of, um, I don't think I really need a portal here. Well, I may as well. It'd be easy. It'd be faster than another. Um, so I was going to head back home, um, just going off diagonally in this direction to grab some obsidian, and then I will pop back to that plains, and I'll see you uh, when I'm there. Okay, guys, so I am back. I have gotten back to the plains, and I made a portal here, um, and, I noted, and I noted the coordinates down. There's a bunch of horses here. So we're going to continue on our adventure. We're going this way, increasing an X, and then we're going to de- or increasing in Z, I mean, and we're going to decrease in X. Wow, there are an insane amount of these um, horses. Oh, and there's this whole brown family too. Wow. There are a ton of horses that we can test to bring home at some point. Um, as for a future- Are you kidding me? This is insane. It's like, it's like 30 horses. This is the best planes ever. Um, in case you're wondering why my super stallion's health is so low, it's because I accidentally hit him a few times um, when I was returning back here. Okay, come on, and I think we're going in the right direction. Yes, we are. So we're going to avoid that cave, please, and avoid all this stuff and see, is this actually the end of the map before ocean? It's the end here, and there's even more horses. And then if we come over here, well, that doesn't look too good, does it? We got the end of the map here as well. Meaning that, um, I guess we're not going to be able to explore any farther in this direction at the moment. So we're going to be heading back toward where we came, I suppose. Um, because we can't go any, more, any farther in that direction. But what we can do is we can, um, get on here without hitting him. And we can continue, um... We don't really want to go toward my house, but if we go this way and decide to um, increase in X instead of decreasing, um, we might be able to find some more stuff, hopefully. So we'll hop across here with this guy's amazing jumping skills that he does not have, <laughs> and we will continue our journey. So some of the things I'm hoping for, I'm hoping for a desert, because um, with the desert, there's the possibility of finding a desert temple or a desert village. Um, and it's just easy access sand for, um, easy access glass. Look at this, more horses. This is absolutely ridiculous. Um, I'm hoping to find, like I said, Desert Temple, any sort of village, um, in, in any place. A village would be phenomenal, um, because then I can just use my nether hub to quickly get access to that village, here's a ravine, um, and trade with those villagers to get some nice stuff, um, trade some of my stuff like emerald um, like paper that I have to get emeralds which I can use to buy even more cool things so that little, la little bit of lag didn't help but even without the lag I doubt I would have been able to get across this river and this guy doesn't seem to want to cooperate I think he's Pegasus again trying to fly out of the water well I don't think you can do that at the moment so I think we should try to swim out of the water instead of flying out of it that might be might just be a good idea um, okay, that route isn't going to work. We'll pop around in this direction. Don't go in the water again. That was close. Um, jump. You can't. <sighs> Silly horse. And I'm not, I don't think I'm going to keep my horse, um, my sword in my, um, hand there because that could be pretty deadly, which is exactly what happened earlier. I'm going to continue off in this direction. I'm actually not sure if it's faster um, with a horse to be jumping or not, um, especially one with low jump like this. Um, so we're going to hop up here and try not to suffocate. Seems like we're back in extreme hills. It seems like this expedition might be a bit of a cutoff one um, because it seems like there's really not that much to explore over here at the moment. Hopefully, if we continue past these hills, we might get better luck um, because I really don't want to end it here, that's for sure. Um, so we'll hop up here. You need an orange jump just to clear two blocks, which is ridiculous and bad, um, very bad considering that 
I'm fairly bad at um, getting good jumps on this on horses. So why can I not? Oh, because right, <laughs> that would be why. So we'll hop up a little. Why are you not going up? Do you need two blocks of room? Maybe this annoying little guy needs two blocks of room to climb up. Let's see if that helps. Yep, there he goes. Can I fit him into this one block space at all, or is it literally impossible? Um, let's see. I don't know why that stone wasn't there. But can I? No, I literally actually need two blocks, which is extremely annoying. Um, I'm just going to keep cutting up this mountainside, and I'll see you when I'm up at the top. What are you doing? What in the world are you doing there? Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. This is the staircase I made. I got off the horse, as you probably saw. I got off the horse to make the staircase, right? I've literally been looking for this guy for 15 minutes, and it's not even an exaggeration. 15 minutes, and the guy's like 50 blocks away! How did you get here? And this is the second time! Remember, it happened the forest too! Next time, I'm like, not getting off this horse, like, ever. To do, like, anything. Or I'm gonna make, like, a fence post and tie him up. Like, are you ki What is up with this guy? He's- His name is not only Pegasus, but it's also Houdini. It's Houdini- it's Houdini is his first name, and Pegasus is his middle name. And I think the Houdini applies even more. This is insane. Like, if you look, it's noon because I had to sleep. Because I've been looking for this guy for an entire Minecraft day. Like, this thing is ridiculous. And now I just find them. Well, now we can actually explore and I can stop wasting my time looking for this guy. So, if we, um, we can continue in this direction. Um, so we're going, right, so we're increasing, what are we, increasing in X now? Yeah, now we're increasing in X instead of decreasing. At least this guy's had time to heal up, but still, my gosh, that was ridiculous. Such a waste of time. And now, are we stuck in a ghost block or something? Come on, there we go. Do a two block jump. Come on, you can do it. You can jump two blocks like any good horse should be able to. Come on. <laughs> ridiculous. It's not entirely his fault because I'm really bad at getting the orange jumps too, but you really shouldn't need to get an orange jump to jump two blocks. An orange jump should give you like three or four. And I really don't feel like going through the water with that guy, especially considering that I was silly enough to not bring a lead with me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, pop back up here, and then I think I'll go around this direction. So I'll pop through here. I wish this guy had feather falling too. Like T-O-O. -O, like feather falling four. Two. <laughs> Because I have Feather Falling 4 on um, my boots, and obviously this guy doesn't. I don't know what in the world that's up with. What's up with that, I mean. <laughs> I don't know what in the world is up with that. Right, so it seems like we're kind of limited from going off in that direction. And it seems like we're also limited from going off in this direction. So these extreme hills really don't lead to much. Um, the lava fall over there, I certainly want to avoid that the best that I can. So I guess I'm continuing down this path over this way, and again, I'm forced to go this way. Basically forced to go right back to my house. So it seems like there's not a whole ton that we can find here other than those planes that I found. Now we got the insane extreme hills. Um, my name, right, here we're in extreme hills. So those are probably like extreme hills plus or something ridiculous. I don't know why we have to have those, like, half the area near my house um so i guess if i ever want to go exploring to find other stuff it will have to be um i'll have to be going through um the other direction which i already went there but i guess i'll have to go farther than the 2000 blocks that i went which is a bit ridiculous or maybe even go through the ocean but then i can't take my horse um which would be annoying so i'll have to decide what to do there eventually um for now, I'm going to keep heading off in this direction. If I can find some more stuff to explore, I certainly will. But it seems like the land is kind of forcing me back to my home. Oh, I thought that was a wolf. I was like, what in the world is a wolf doing here? Nope, just a little old chicken. Um, yeah, so I'll just continue this way. I already went um, way over. Actually, what I haven't done, which I could do, technically. Um, we'll see. So clearly I've been here before. 
How close am I to my house? I'm basically right next to it. Um, yeah, I'm literally just like 50 blocks and 100 blocks away. I'm basically right next to my house. But I do have an idea for when we get back there. Because I've never actually, um, oh, okay, let's not do that. Let's go this way. I've never actually gone, like, I have that little tunnel that goes, like, straight out from my house, um, to the side, to the other side, um, but I haven't gone past that, so what I could do is I could go really far in that direction if it lets me, and then try to explore, um, going back in this Z direction where there might not be ocean, right, so you can see there's my house right there, and if we pop around here, ow, oh, oh, I thought that was gonna deal a lot more damage than it did, luckily it didn't. I think while I'm in here, I'm going to grab a lead just in case. Um, okay, so you are coming in my house. Because if I leave you outside, I cannot trust you leaving you outside. Because you will probably find your way back to, like, like the Mega Taiga that's, like, 2,000 blocks away. Knowing you, Mr. Houdini Horse. So I'm going to, where is it? What would it be? Another? Um, yeah. So I'll grab these four leads in case I break some. Um, so now, we ha now that we have some leads, I'm going to hop. Look at this. The guy, he, he cannot sit still. He moved like 20 blocks in like 10 seconds. So, um, let's hop out the door and take some damage. Because everybody loves taking damage. And this is the tunnel I was talking about, um, right here. But, um, so I didn't have to lead the horses through the, um, I didn't have to lead the horses through the, um, over the hills. So there we go. <laughs> I took a bunch of damage along the way. But somehow, even when you take damage... You still manage to um, keep moving. So I'm going to eat up to restore those hearts. And then this is actually, I made a tunnel down here. But there's really no need for that, considering that I can just go up over the hill. So my plan is to go, oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. I think I'm definitely going to take that 100%. Um, uh, this is just showing you guys, what, when we did that first exploring episode, I took my first horse home. Um, or my first horses home. I think I took like three, something. Um, this is just showing you guys how much work I had to put into that. We made both those tunnels. There's also the tunnel way over there. Um, and in addition, you know that, you know where there was that entrance down there? Um, that, hold on, right, so it's hard to see. So I'm just going to get off this guy. What? In the world. What in the world? Is this a glitch? I'm, like, speechless right now. Like, yes, like, there's the Houdini thing. But, like, if I look back in the footage, I got off the horse, right? The literal millisecond I got off the horse, I turned around, and he was gone. Where did he go? You cannot move that fast. Horses cannot go fast when there's no person on them. Like, what in the world? I don't understand. There's clearly some sort of glitch where, like, you get off a horse and he, like, teleports away or something. Because this makes absolutely no sense. Where'd he go? I swear, if I look back in that footage, he would have, like, literally disappeared. Where did you go, Mr. Horse? Well, guess I'm on the horse hunt again. Did I not look there? Did I not look there? Okay. This better get fixed in 1.12, whatever this mess is. I assume that it's not simply horses teleporting. I think it's horses disappearing. Because, like, if he was right there the whole time, I think I would have saw him. And if I look back in that footage, I can almost guarantee you, guarantee you, that I looked there. But yet he's just there now. And that would have made sense before earlier, too. Like, he might have gone invisible, and then he could have walked that far in like the 10 minutes I was searching for him. So like, whatever this is, it better stop. And there's a big problem here because like, when I get off, like when I go somewhere, right? I'm just gonna keep going in this direction. 
I'm going to go really far in this direction and then try to go in the Z direction, right? So if I'm just going along here, right? And then I'm like, okay, I found this amazing village. I need to get off my horse and place another portal down. Then I get off my horse and boom, he's invisible. And I can't see him for five minutes. Like, <sighs> there's a problem here. I'm very curious. I'll have to look up after the video if I can remember. Look up in like the bug tracker on Mo for Mojang. See if this is like an official certified bug that has been found before. Or if this is just something happening to me that I need to report. Or if this is like, or if I'm just like blind and it's not a bug at all. But I can't imagine. I'll look back in the footage. If I didn't look there or if I looked there and I didn't see the horse, then like that's a problem. That's a very big problem. So we're going to hop back here. And, um, let's see, how far in X are we? Come on, go, 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 don't. Maybe that's, maybe that's how we need to get off our horse from now on. We need to, uh, get off our horse underwater. We need to get forced off our horse because of water. Because if you get off him with the shift key, then he will just become invisible. Or he will teleport, or he will do something really, really, really strange and horrible. Now... Let's see. Where are we here? What's our X? Our X is like negative a thousand. So we're getting pretty far away in the X direction. I feel like trying over here now. Because those planes we found over there were only negative 500. So, um, and they, were, and they were positive 147. So it's certainly not those planes. Well, it could actually be those planes. But what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to keep traveling in this direction here. Um, until I basically hit like some barrier that I can't travel or until I literally go like 3,000 blocks and then I will try going back in the um, uh, Z direction and if this horse disappears again I'm going to go crazy and I'm going to just like stop using horses like forever until they fix it in 1.12 so yeah there we go, um, and hopefully I'll see you with good news and not with bad Houdini news.